Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. I've received a few questions about the comms gear that I took for the Winter Warrior training. So rather than answering those questions one by one, I thought I'd simply make a video. So whenever I man portable, that always means that I'm going to try to maximize my capabilities while minimizing my gear. That means my man portable digital HF, VHF, UHF communications kit. Check out that video if you haven't seen that already. So the first part of the kit is the power source. And that's the Guide 10 Plus with Nomad 7 solar panel from uh, Gold Zero. It's magnificent in direct or indirect sunlight, but it's really crap during gray skies. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. It's a P7300 uh, running Omni-ROM. This time around, I used Whisper Beacon app for Android and Droid PSK. Between the radio and the rig, I used the Woofy Link interface that goes to the data port of the radio and the four pole connector, headphone and speaker connector of the tablet or smartphone. I also took the bug out bag radio with me. That's the Yezu FT817. I always use this radio when I'm out man portable on skis, ski shoes, whatever. This time I took two different antennas with me. The cross country wireless EF30B and the SOTA Beams Peak. The cross country wireless antenna was my primary antenna because I know how it works. I know how it reacts. I know how it reacts with weather changes and things like that. And the SOTA Beams was simply a test antenna. There's a video up about the cross country wireless EF30B. So if you haven't done so already, please check it out. As far as the SOTA Beams antenna goes, I want to have more experience with it before I start to feature it on my channel. So let's lock down this video by going through a few of the field notes. I could save additional grams or ounces by throwing away the RG58 and replacing it with RG174 for low power ops. Replacing the 7 watt panel with a 19 watt panel or similar would allow me to carry only two sets of batteries rather than the three sets of batteries I carry now, reducing overall weight and also reducing charging times. Now I've been using the prototype cross-country wireless uh, in-fed half-wave antennas for 30 meters and 20 meters with bandpass filters built in uh, for a few months now. And I can say, once you get used to these antennas, all other antennas you use seem very noisy. So I found myself shuffling around trying to figure out what was wrong with the SOTA beams antenna. Um, but there was nothing wrong with it. It's just noisy when compared with the uh, NFED halfway from Cross Country Wireless with bandpass filters built in. Using the Cross Country Wireless EF30B prototype, I was able to maintain reliable daytime communications out to about 3,000 kilometers range um, on voice and data communications over the entire three days that I worked radio comms while I was there. So the observation here is using this high performance antenna, I was able to achieve reliable communications with lower power setting. It's a no brainer. With that said, we've reached the end of the video. If you found this video entertaining or informative, please give a thumbs up. If you know someone who might enjoy watching this video, please share it with them. And remember, you can also find us on Twitter. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.